In this video, we will discuss the intention to live together requirement as it relates to UK spouse and civil partnership visas. As an OISC regulated UK immigration law firm that has helped more than 3,000 partners with their UK partner visa applications, we are very well placed to discuss this. Firstly, you will not generally be expected to provide supporting documentation to show that you intend to live together in the UK permanently. Rather, it is ordinarily implied because of you submitting the spouse visa application. This requirement tends to only be problematic if there's information in the application that calls into question your intention to live together in the UK, such as one partner mentioning that they intend to relocate overseas. Secondly, you should know that the intention to live together requirement will apply to each of the applications up to and including the indefinite leave to remain application. So if you anticipate that one or both partners will spend some time overseas before applying for indefinite leave to remain, this requirement may require careful planning. The standard route to indefinite leave to remain via the partner visa route involves 1. Submitting the first partner visa application. If the first spouse visa application is made from outside the UK, the applicant will be granted a 33-month visa in the UK. If the first spouse visa application is made from inside the UK, the applicant will be granted 30 months leave in the UK via submitting the FLRM application form. 2. Submitting the first partner visa extension using the FLRM application form where another 30 months leave will be granted. This partner visa extension should generally be submitted within the 28-day period before the partner visa or leave expires. And then three, the indefinite leave to remain or ILR application. So, if the applicant and or sponsor have spent a significant amount of time outside the UK after being granted the first partner visa application but before the ILR application, this can call into question the intention to live together permanently in the UK requirement when you submit either the first partner visa extension or the ILR application. The immigration rules, as it relates to these applications, do not state the amount of time that can be spent outside the UK until the intention to live together in the UK requirement can be problematic. And the reason for this is because the reason is very relevant. One or both partners going on a study trip as part of a course and or working overseas are examples of good reasons which justify spending extended periods outside the UK without calling into question the intention to live together requirements for each of these applications. The intention to live together requirement is one of the many mandatory requirements that you must meet when you apply for a UK spouse visa. For a detailed account of all of the spouse visa requirements, you can watch our incredibly in-depth UK spouse visa requirements video by clicking the video here. For a step-by-step -step discussion on the UK spouse visa process, feel free to watch our spouse visa timeline and process YouTube video. Also, if you found this video helpful, feel free to let us know in the YouTube comments by liking the video and by subscribing.